At the end of this lesson, you will know the difference between common and proper nouns. You will be able to teach your students to identify common nouns, proper nouns and differentiate between them. Remember, nouns are names of people, animals, things, places, feelings, etc. Common nouns are general nouns. These are names of people, animals, things, places, etc. that are common. For example, look at these pictures. Child or children is a common noun. These pictures are of different children. When we use the word child or children, it means we are talking about children in general. We are not talking about a particular child. Similarly, these are pictures of flowers. Flowers is a general noun because there are different kinds of flowers all over the world. When we say, I like flowers, we are talking about flowers in general. City and horse are common nouns. Remember, common nouns are not capitalized unless they are the first words in a sentence. Proper nouns are names of particular people and places, days of the week, month of the year, names of brands, teams, countries, etc. are all proper nouns. Proper nouns are always written with a capital letter. Notice how you always write your first and last name with capital letters? Your name is a proper noun because it indicates a particular person, that is you. Proper nouns may have more than one word. Jahangir Khan, Shaukat Khanam Hospital, Zamzama Shopping Mall, Lahore Railway Station. In this case, all the words must start with a capital letter. Remember, Jahangir Khan is one proper noun. Similarly, Lahore Railway Station are three words but a single proper noun.
you might be surprised to see that traveling is a noun travel is a verb but if you add ing to it and use it in a sentence as the subject or object it can act like a noun this is also called a gerund notice that culture and history are both nouns because they are names of abstract concepts a quick way to check is to ask is this describing another noun no is this an action of some kind no it sounds like the name of something so it must be a noun One of the tricks to find out if a noun is common or proper is to notice if the word is capitalized or not. However, if it is the first word of the sentence, then you have to ask yourself a different question because a common noun that starts a sentence will be capitalized. So ask yourself is it the name of a particular person place or animal if i used this word in the middle of the sentence would i capitalize it
We all know what nouns are. They are names of things, animals, places and people. But some nouns are special because they are the names of specific people and places. These are called proper nouns. Girl is a common noun because there are many girls. But Sara is the name of a particular girl. So Sara is a proper noun. Explain the rest of the words in the same way. Another practice exercise is to give students a list of common nouns and then ask them to write proper nouns for them. Make sure you tell your students to write the proper nouns with capital letters. Ask your students for names of their pet animals, shops near the house, or names of buildings and monuments like Bachai Masjid and Minare Pakistan, etc. Lamp. I think it is a common noun. Good. One point for team A.